Okay. So cross collaboration. I just put that down there because I don't want to type the word cross because it's shorter. Uh, that's another form. So they asked me, how can you promote cross collaboration? So let me give you a real world scenario example. 2030, South Africa has a national plan. Elon Musk is already starting the voyage to take and start uh, Mars-based colonization by 2030, together with uh, the White House, together with global corporations. So what's going to be happening? We're going to be feeding content from planet Earth and pushing it over to Mars all the time and vice versa. So if we look at it today, we are in South Africa, you have Joburg, you have Durban, you have places where your different faculties are. Communicate, cross-pollinate. Whatever content strategies you have, share that information immediately. Gone are the days that what we learn is we keep it within our own silo groups and grow only for ourselves. But if we start opening up the source of information, because there is a wealth of information out there. Uh, being a technology company, sometimes we are up till 2, 3 in the morning just pulling information from Tokyo, from Australia, from San Francisco, and people are more than willing to share information because there's a wealth of it. We, all of the stuff that we're learning now is nothing new, it's already been there, it's just that we have access to it. So if you can create that same sort of scenarios for our students. So partnering your students with a live webcam or putting up cluster online social media groups, inviting different faculties together to work on different projects and campaigns. Probably try looking at doing something like that in the new year challenge your lecturers and I look forward to maybe engaging with your lecturers in the new year as well giving them actual case studies on how to work with this with this so most importantly here are some essential principles that we can look at friend your enemies friend your institutions and counterparts out there that you've tried to stay away from or try to always do better learn and understand what they're doing and execute better strategies than them arts of war period 101 hack proof ha protect your website as much as possible.